With the whole world recovering from a deadly pandemic, we are reminded our wild friends often have serious health issues to deal with too. On November 14th, officials in Yellowstone National Park made an alarming discovery. A mule deer carcass was tested for cause of death, and it turned out to be a case of zombie deer, or as it's officially known, chronic wasting disease. This is a rare but contagious disease that leads to a steady deterioration of the animal. It was the first such case ever recorded in Yellowstone, though it has been detected across a wide swath of the United States, Canada, Scandinavia, and even in one herd in Korea and it seems to be getting a little less rare these days. There is no treatment and the disease is always fatal. It can take 18 to 24 months for symptoms to begin showing after infection. Over time, an infected deer may begin to experience difficulty in movement. Then there is listlessness, confusion, repetitive walking patterns, and severe loss of weight. It will cease interacting with the other animals, exhibit excessive salivation and grinding of the teeth. Most will also drink and urinate excessively and will experience tremors. Notably, a deer suffering from chronic wasting disease may also lose its natural fear of humans. Ultimately, these growing problems will take their toll and the animal will die after a prolonged period of decline. It can be a danger to a number of wildlife species. In addition to several species of deer, chronic wasting disease can also infect elk, caribou, and moose populations in North America. According to the Centers for Disease Control, there have been no recorded cases of chronic wasting disease transferring from animal to humans. However, some studies suggest it might jump from deer to some primates like monkeys if they eat the meat from an infected carcass. The CDC suggested in a 2004 study that more testing should be done to clarify the potential link. The disease is caused by an improperly folded protein, or prion. When infected, the prion causes a chain reaction among other proteins in the body, causing a breakdown centered in both the central and peripheral nervous systems. This is similar to the kind of infection that causes mad cow disease among the bovine population. However, chronic wasting disease is not a danger to cattle. Researchers diagnose the disease by looking for the abnormal protein in tests of brain, lymph, and neuroendocrine tissues of an infected animal. Zombie deer disease was first detected in 1967 in Colorado within a captive herd of mule deer. It began to be seen popping up in wild populations in the 1980s. In 1996, the first diagnosis came in from Canada, and the following year it showed up in a captive elk herd. By 2018, it had reached Mississippi, and a farm in Quebec had to slaughter 3,500 animals after a significant outbreak occurred. The first case in Europe was reported in 2016, when a wild reindeer came down with the illness in Norway. In subsequent years, cases have been confirmed in Finland and Sweden as well. One infected animal was transferred from Canada to South Korea, creating an Asian front in the pandemic. Wildlife officials are attempting to slow the spread of chronic wasting disease in a number of ways. Certain areas are requiring hunters to provide samples from deer and other animals harvested for testing. With some herds known to be affected, active quarantines are in place. There are carcass disposal programs going on in several states. Anyone noticing a sick or dead deer, elk, moose, or caribou should avoid any physical contact and report the animal to their local wildlife authorities. Wildlife professionals who are trained in dealing with such animals can collect necessary samples for testing and dispose of a carcass safely. People should also avoid consuming the meat of any animal they believe might be exposed to CWD. Some wildlife managers are also discouraging feeding deer during winter months as the availability of an easy meal may cause deer and other animals to congregate and contribute to the potential spread of the disease. Don't stop here. Find out more. Visit the links in the description below for more in-depth information on the stories presented in this video.